Oh, great. Just what we need. Another three and three quarters of an inch scale giant green guy. Don't you think we have enough decent green guys? Decent? Who you calling decent, punk? What do you mean? I'm a great figure, pal. No, you dumb figure. You have no articulation, and you face ugly. Besides, we have a beautiful, beautiful green highlights in hair. You like? I am the greatest figure, and you cannot deny it. In fact, I am the greatest Frankenstein figure of them all. Frankenstein? You Hulk figure! I'm a Hulk figure? Wow. Okay. You're definitely a superior figure. You wanna know what else makes me superior? What? Hulk and Smash! Yeah! Jacangelo Toy Reviews presents... The Incredible Hulk from Marvel Universe. Hey guys, I am back with another video review, and this time, Hulk is smashing Marvel Universe with a new and improved version. Now, the original Incredible Hulk Marvel Universe figure has gone down as in infamy as one of the worst Marvel Universe figures ever made. This, however, looks like a figure that will right past wrongs, and I think that this is going to be somebody that really does the Hulk justice, because he's one of my favorite characters, and I, I always wanted a decent figure of him. Like, this one from the uh, Incredible Hulk movie line is good, but he feels a bit too big as far as scale goes. So, let's have a peek at the packaging, shall we? Uh, we've got a nice picture of Hulk, Marvel Universe, nothing special. One thing I want to point out is this is cracked. That's supposed to be there. That's not normal Marvel Universe stuff. This is, it almost looks like Hulk's trying to bust out of his packaging, which is cool. He's got this little, uh, includes collectible comic shot, so this is like a little mini comic book cover. I'm not quite sure why that's there, but whatever. On the back, the biography says, Hulk smashes, Hulk crashes. Hulk is an unstoppable mass of muscle and green skin fury. He bears little resemblance to his alter ego, the mild mannered scientist Bruce Banner, save for the sci selfless scientist's tattered pants. While Hulk fights for good, his unpredictability and sheer strength make him a big time annoyance to any to the world's governing bodies. So here's a little picture of Hulk. Uh, Marvel, another picture in the background, comic little. Comic panel, it's really nice. And we've got three other characters you can collect. The really inferior stupid Spider-Man, Beta Ray Bill, and Craven the Hunter. With Rocket Raccoon telling you to collect them all. Do you find my small furry nature reassuring? I'm not quite sure why he says that. So yeah, decent in the box, but I have a feeling he's going to be really cool out of the box. So, I'm going to open him up and see how he really is. He's lean, he's mean, he's green, and he trumps his original Marvel Universe version. This Hulk is fantastic. He feels a little on the fragile side. But, uh, that's the only little grab I have about him, simply because he has so much articulation. Here we have this little comic shot, which, once again, I don't really know what it's for. Like, maybe you could, uh, you could use it as a uh, comic book for your figures? I, I don't know, but I'll set that to the side. Because, though it is kind of cool looking, I don't really see the purpose of it. Anyway, so let's take a peek at the guy. He is uh, darker green than his original incarnation as a single pack. And uh, he seems to be about the same shade as the uh, Cyclops 2 pack that he came in, which was a better sculpt than the uh, weird one that we got as a single pack. But this guy trumps them both. This guy is fantastic. I mean, paint job-wise, he's great. He's green with his purple pants, which is nice and all, but he's got a black wash through that, and his skin is leathery and tough, and his jeans, or not jeans, but purple pants are, like, all, like, rough, and it's all ripped. It's just beautiful texture all the way through. Let's see if I camera can catch some of this. There's some of his skin texture. It's all torn and leathery, or... I don't know if those are scars or that that's leather. And then here we've got... His uh, pants, it's about to burst, like, just almost 
skin tight on there. Goodness knows how much longer they're going to stay on his body. It's just like, he looks fantastic. The feet are really nice looking. As far as, as, far as good looking Hulk feet go, it's really good. So, another good thing is the face. Look at that face. He looks seriously ticked. I mean, that looks a bazillion times better than any Hulk head sculpt I've seen. Minus maybe the Avengers one, because that did bear a lot of resemblance to the actor, Mark Ruffalo. Though, I, I kind of wish he had a bit of a scruffy beard thingy going there, because that's kind of what Hulk had going in the Avengers movie. So, overall, three and three quarters of an inch figures. This Hulk is the best I've seen ever. I can understand why there's so much hype about him. Uh, he physically just, he just looks like Hulk. He screams, Hulk smash! He just looks angry, he tough, mean, green, rough. He just looks Hulk to me. And I think that's really the, the thing that a lot of the Hulk figures were lacking. They didn't look like the Incredible Hulk. This figure is an Incredible Hulk. Get it? Because it's a Hulk and he's an Incredible figure. Anyway, also, I'm not sure... Yeah, there are green highlights in his hair, even. Can you catch that? Paint job's fantastic. Sculpt's fantastic. His eyes are great. They're not... Oh my gosh. Can you catch that, folks? They're white. With a green dot and a black dot in the center. How more perfect can you ask for a three and three quarters of an inch figure? I mean, the man's like smaller than my hand. And you paint full-fledged eyeballs on this? This is just... This is... I guess Hasbro's way of saying, I'm sorry for giving you crud a couple years back. Let me make it up to you. And they made it up to us. This Hulk figure just... He's, he's amazing. The only thing that could make this Hulk figure better is if they made a Bruce Banner figure to go with him. That'd just be so cool. Um, articulation? Once again, this Hulk trumps everybody. He's got a ball and socket at the head. And a ball and socket... No, no oh no. It's a ball and socket and then there's a hinge. See that? Oh, that's cool. And then, not only that, but the, uh, at the base of the neck, it swivels just a bit. Not a lot, but enough to get some decent up, down, left, right poses. Um, pin and socket right there. Let me show you his muscles. Uh, twists, well, it does twist right there. Uh, hinge here. His hands are in fists, so he can't hold anything, but why would you want to? He smashes things. Uh, twists like that, really nice. Uh, cut here, and then another cut here, which, like I said, my, uh, Golden Age Captain America review feels kind of pointless. And it actually, uh, if you can hear that snapping sound, it snaps into its original place. I'm not sure what's doing that. Magnets, maybe? But, uh, it snaps into its original place. There, there's something very wrong with the interior of my figure. Uh, we do have those joints, which I said I don't like, but it's not that bad. I mean, it's the Incredible Hulk. You know, cuts right there. Double knees, which, like I said, this make that makes it feel a little fragile to me, but even in, inside the knee joints, do you see that, folks? There's more of that leather texture and more black wash. And then there's a ankle... What do you call those? Hinge? Yeah, I think hinge. Uh, up and down, left and right. It doesn't go uh, up very well, but it goes down really nicely, so, you know, you can have them kind of in a lur lurching forward or whatever. A really, really nice Hulk figure. One thing I'm curious about is to show you how well this figure is done compared to its original Marvel Universe. And I'm curious how you guys will react to how bad the original figure was in comparison to this guy. I was content with the original figure, but this guy, like I said, just trumps him. Like, just, there's no comparison. It makes the other figure look... Like it shouldn't even exist in this world. So I'm going to show you that to you right now. Yep. Cool. Not cool. Cool. Not cool. I take that back. This is cool. This is awesome. Like Hulk here. His face. He looks like Frankenstein. Like that was always the grip I had about this figure. This guy on the other hand looks like an angry awesome looking Hulk. This guy has like bigger muscles than this Hulk. So physically, he's a lot bulkier, but as a result, he's got a lot less articulation. He's also got this open hand, which means he can't 
punch people with his hand. So, though it did have some interesting uh, apps, like you can make him reach for you or whatever, it's kind of nice we now have one that has built two hands. Uh, his skin is very smooth, more human-like, whereas this Hulk is more animal-like. It's very leathery, rough, scarred. This guy's pants also aren't very torn. This guy's, they look like they're just going to rip clean off his body, like his zippers just going to rip it, it's going to fall down, you're going to see his Hulk underwear, which would be really creepy. But, I mean, so they, he just looks, this one just looks, feels hulkier to me. I kind of wish this, this one had its, the, the big bulking shoulders that this one had. So, uh, I don't like, I don't like to use this word, but this Hulk is definitely an upgrade from this Hulk. I never like to say that, because, to me, every action figure is so unique. Like I, uh, like I said in my, uh, Captain America review, my Golden Age Captain America review, the two Captain Americas are so unique, I, I can't compare them, just because one's newer and one's older, they're so different. But this one really does feel like a, a level up, a, a trumping of this guy. So this guy is worth having. If you own this one, there's no reason to own this one. If you own this one, there is a reason to own this one. So I think this figure is, is really has a lot of great, great, awesome qualities to it. The Incredible Hulk being the Incredible Hulk. Skills and wealth, the other figures being significantly larger than Thor and Beachhead here. And overall, he seems also to do fairly well, maybe even better, than his Hulk brethren here. We've got, like, the classic Marvel Universe Hulk, I sh that's like, like, Hulk seems to be a bit taller, but this guy seems to be a bit wider in sh shoulders. This guy, obviously, not, he can't even have him here. You can't even see his face anymore. And I think this is way too big for a Hulk. It just doesn't seem even... He seems, like, surreally large. I, I think this one actually may have been a 5-inch scale, so I don't know. But that Hulk's definitely too big. And I knew the Avengers Hulk was way too small. So this guy, along with his, uh old-fashioned Marvel Universe counterpart here, seems to s do the job as far as scale goes. All in all, I think this is a really important figure to have. Like, even if you did have the original Marvel Universe Hulk, you definitely want this one, because this one is... Like I said, I don't like to use the word upgrade, but he really is an upgrade. I mean, this is a nice figure, don't get me wrong, and he's probably worth 10 bucks. But this guy over here, he's worth 13, 14, maybe even 15 bucks. This guy is ahead of his times, or more like behind his times, really, because things are just getting worse as far as toys go. But, um, I, I, I really like him. He's just, he's a great Hulk figure to have. He'd go great with your Avengers. They repainted him now and stuck him in a three-pack, so now he's, there's also a Red Hulk with this sculpt. I'd like to see a Gray Hulk with this sculpt, maybe. Or maybe with, like, a... Like with a uh, soft goods uh, tattered tank top to go with it, that'd be cool. Um, but yeah, he's he's a great figure to have. I I recommend it. if you see him, he's gonna be more than worth the ten dollars you shell out for him. So this has been my review on the new and improved Marvel Universe Incredible Hulk. Tell me how you liked it, or tell me how you didn't like it. That will affect how I do my reviews next time. So. Till then, this has been Jake Angela, and I will see you next time.